taking you to a very secret spot. It's not that secret, it's just very unknown. Uh, we're here in Shargao Island. We're at, this is the very north part of the island. Anyway, this is DJ. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> He's working at Moonlight Homestay, so he brought us up here and we met Diane. Hi. Hey, hey. Today, they're taking us to a place called, what is it called? Ponyas Hidden Lake. Yeah, Ponyas? Hidden Lake. Hidden Lake, okay. We're getting on a boat right now and we're taking it about, they keep giving us mixed signals about how far it is, but. <laughs> Supposedly, like how long? Uh, take 45 minutes. 45 minutes. He said 15 minutes. She says 45 minutes. Depends Maybe. On who you are. Dep <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how fast the boatman drives. But let's go adventure. Too bad, maybe 20 minutes. Not too bad. That was quick. And it was a really beautiful ride through the mangroves. And now we just arrived to this dock made of rocks. I like to call the rock dock. <laughs> and we begin our trek to Ponyas Hidden Lake. Let's go. Guys, we have made it to the hidden lake. Look how beautiful this is. This is so cool. No one here. A nice private spot to come and relax. And that hike wasn't too long. Uh, we got 24.15. DJ was keeping track. 24 minutes and 15 seconds to hike here. And it wasn't too hard. You go uphill for a little bit, then downhill. And there's ropes the whole way to guide you down. So that was really nice. Different change of pace than other parts of Shargao because Usually, Shargao is known for the beaches and surfing and things like that. So this is nice. You hike through the jungle. It's that's different than other parts of Shargao, and I really like it. We are getting into our little rowboat and paddling out to the floating cottage. My turn. Do, 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 do. Make sure to step in the middle so it doesn't tilt to the left or the right, and then I sit down and then we're all good. Yay. Woo all right. So we're here at the floating cottage and it's raining a little bit, which just makes it look more enchanting to me. But anyway, Steve's gonna get on the hammocks over here. They're floating bamboo hammocks. I couldn't get on, so it's Steve's turn. Steve, you ready? Yeah. You ready? Right. Emma tried to get on these floating hammocks, but she failed miserably. Oh, the whole thing's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. now it's my turn to try. Wow. This is the best way to get on. You know? Jump. Just Thank try you. to jump right onto that pit. Wow, good job. Good job. You're sinking. You're sinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. You need some good balance to get on this thing. Mm hmm. Good thing we've been slacklining. Yeah, slackline practice. <laughs> yeah. right. Oh my god, yeah. Was this the way it was supposed to be designed? <laughs> it's still really nice. The floating yeah, hammock the... in the water. Yeah, wow. The floating water hammock. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, this floating hammock is a, uh, it's a, it's a water hammock, definitely. <laughs> but it's nice because your butt lays in the water and you top it out, so this is quite relaxing. You can pee easily with no one noticing. <laughs> yes, yeah, just enough room for you to pee without moving. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we just made it back to the shore and we noticed there are some rope swings over here. So of course, we gotta give them a try. You ready to swing, Pem? Yeah. Yeah, let's do And also, by the way, there's a huge echo in here. Oh! <laughs> so cool! So, 
I am horrible at rope swings, and apparently this one is not only really high, like high up from the water, but you start up there. That's freaky, to me, to me at least. I'm a rope swing noob. But I know Steve has a lot of Tarzan experience, so let's see him swing. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the rope swing. It is time to put my Tarzan hair to the real Tarzan test to see if I can <laughs> be a real Tarzan. <laughs> Tell me more, Tarzan. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Not cool. sure if you guys saw that, but his leg got caught up. <laughs> so that was kind of scary for you, huh? That was really fun. That was cool. Yeah. Okay, it's about to be low tide, so we have to get going so we can get out of here and grab some lunch. And perfect timing because it's raining here, but it still looks really beautiful. Capinganon, which is, is this a fisherman village? Yes. All right, so this is a fisherman village. So of course we have some lunch that includes what the fisherman caught. We have, it looks like some squid over here and some fish. And I am very hungry, so I'm really excited to enjoy this. In a typical Filipino fashion, we're eating with our hands here. No need for some utensils. And look at this, we got some squiddies out here. Have you guys ever had this? Squid or little octopus? Look at that. Would you eat this? I love it. Cool. Top right. <laughs> this is my meal. Super good. I have some fish soup, warm me up, and some really good squid. Squid o'clock. Look, it's Squidward. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're, we're learning new vocabulary here. Since we're in the southern part of, well, like the middle, middle region of the Philippines. They speak Visaya here. And they were just teaching us how to say delicious, which is la meat. La meat. La meat. Yeah. This food is la meat. Mmm. Hey, right, looks like there's a, a big town meeting going on. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Welcoming us with smiles and greetings. <laughs> and we're coming to join the meeting, so okay. hello. We're ready. So we are talking about the Punyas Lake management. So uh, there are uh, the people will manage in this lake. Okay. So it is raining pretty hard here right now, but we just joined uh, the town meeting because they're planning all about the lake. And Pema's going to get everyone to say hello. Five, three, two, one. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I won't forget. We won't forget. That was so cool. Everybody here is so nice. So they're doing a lot of planning here because they're trying to increase the tourism. So if you come to Shargao, you guys get a come down to Ponyas Hidden Lake, Lake Punyas, and enjoy, support this local fishing village. Such nice people out here. All right, after having some delicious lunch, la meat, and learning some new things and meeting the locals in this town, it is time to get back on our boat and head back to the mainland, San Benito. So we just made it back to the mainland here in San Benito and DJ was telling us how we actually passed a really cool, it looked like a perfect island. Like if you were to ask a child to draw an island, they would draw that. It was just surrounded by beautiful sand and just palm trees in the middle. And we were supposed to stop there, but I kind of wanted to just come back because we were getting all wet. It was raining on the way back, but still such a cool ride. And thank you so much for bringing us here. Well, it's a pleasure. Yeah, so if someone wants to do what we just did, how yeah. can they do that? Yeah, you can only contact me on my Facebook page, Shago Travel Dictionary. Okay. There's a contact information out there. Sweet. So I'll leave a link to his Facebook page in the description. So if you want to come enjoy San Benito and the beautiful things they offer here, contact DJ. I'll leave a link so you can get in touch with him. Shargao is becoming such a popular island. 
most people only stay in General Luna. So this is on the other side of the island. It took about an hour ride on the motorbike to get here. Not bad, and the ride was beautiful. Such, a, such an amazing island. So if you come to Chagao, come check out San Benito. This place is really nice, and the people are very friendly. So we were driving on the way back home, and we're here in the town of Del Carmen, and we see a bunch of young people dressed up in fancy formal outfits. Girls in dresses, boys in suits, and we found there's a prom going on. So Pema wants to go inside and see what prom is like here in the Philippines. He's trying to relive the glory days. <laughs> Pema, will you go to prom with me? Yes, I'll go to prom so accomplished we just crashed a Filipino prom I don't think anybody cared that we were there they're literally just like oh yeah at one point a dog walked inside so I don't think it's very hard to sneak into prom here <laughs> all right guys we just made it back to the town of General Luna we took some showers and got some warm clothes on because that bike ride home was so cold and so rainy but where are we now Pema? we're at Emilio's a local restaurant just down the street from Moonlight yeah, so this is a place that was recommended by David, the owner of a restaurant called Sev, which has the best ceviche and on this island. Yeah, and quinoa, just such good food. So that's another recommendation. Go to Sev. I'm just thinking about the food because I'm so hungry right now. But we're, we're at Amelia's right now, so let's enjoy this. <laughs> Most have, random plug for Sev ever. <laughs> we have some, what do we have coming? We ordered some Amelia's specialty chicken. And we got some soup. What the kind of soup is this? Minced pork. Minced pork soup. And some yang chow fried rice. So we're still waiting on the chicken, but I just wanted to let you know that we're going to end the vlog here. So I really appreciate you watching if you made it all the way to this point. Thank you. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button on my channel. You can subscribe to Pema's, Pema's channel too. Pema. <laughs> Her name is Pema. She has a YouTube channel. The link is going to be in the description. Pema's going to make a travel guide about Chargao. And I'm giving her a one month quota to edit. So we got to hold her accountable to make this Chargao travel guide in one month. Okay. You going to do it? I'm going to do it. All right, she could do it. But that's where we're going to end today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave us a like. And we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Peace.